Thank you, Jesus Christ. Your name is I am above all other names. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. Your name is I am above all other names. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. Father, we bless your holy name. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mighty hand upon our lives. Please accept our worship in Jesus' name. Lord, today, Monday, November 28, 2022, please be with us. Send your word to our heart to heal, to deliver, to set us free in Jesus' name. The Holy Ghost is able to quicken our hearts to receive your word in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Good morning. Wherever you are watching, listening to this Open Heaven Devotional, written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. Adeboye, I pray that the glory of the Lord will rest upon you in Jesus' name. Today, our topic says dealing with destiny killers. Dealing with destiny killers. I pray the Almighty God will deal with every destiny killer in your life in Jesus' name. Our memory verse is the, from the book of Judges, chapter 18, verse 9. Judges, chapter 18, verse 9. And they said, Arise, that we may go up against them, for we have seen the land, and behold, it is very good. And, as, and are ye still, be not slothful to go, and to enter to possess the land. Be not slothful to go, and to enter to possess the land. Our Bible reading is taken from Proverbs chapter 6, 6 to 11. Proverbs chapter 6, 6 to 11. Go to the hand, thou sluggard. Consider our ways and be wise, which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, provided a meat in the summer and gathered a food in the harvest. How long will thou sleep, O sluggard? When will thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep, so shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, traveleth and thy want as an armed man. Today, we are looking at dealing with destiny killers. Dealing with destiny killers. The laziness is one major destiny killer that many people do not pay attention to. Laziness. Slothfulness, laziness, perhaps idleness is one of major destiny killers that many people do not pay attention to. You need to realize that the journey to your destiny is divided into times and seasons. A friend Lord said, journey to your destiny, to your fulfillment in life is divided into times and seasons. And if you miss one because of laziness, you may never be able to recover it. You may never be able to recover it. it. This may ultimately cause a dent in the fulfillment of your destiny. This may eventually cause, cause a dent in the fulfillment of your destiny. When it is time to make a move, go for it. Don't delay. Don't be slothful. When it is time to make a move, don't delay. Go for it. Don't postpone it. Proverbs 22, 13 describes such a fellow accurately. When something needs to be done, do it. Whether it is convenient or not, there's no convenience in conquering lands and expanding territories. It is only the courageous and the strong one that can fulfill destiny. Destiny is a journey divided into times and seasons. We must not allow laziness. We must not allow slothfulness to rob us of, of the glory of God that is what? That has been positioned, that has been laid before us in the journey of life. We must never allow anything whatsoever that will stop us, not even laziness, in the pursuit of our destiny in Christ Jesus. Several years ago, a friend Lord said, he and his wife, together with one of their two sons, well, it was two years then and four months at the time, and back on a journey from Lagos to Tupo in Benue State, Nigeria. The journey was for what? For a dual purpose, starting a parish of the church there and holding a congress. 
it was during the rainy season and a major bridge on the way between Ori and Bini had been swept away by flood. When we got there and found no bridge, we have to, they have to sleep in the car that night. The bridge had been slept, swept off by flood. So they had to sleep in the car that night. The place was so dangerous that we, they were advised not to step out of the car at all. Our friend Lord said, he remembered there, there was an alternative road. So we, they turned around to go by the road, which had been abandoned, only to discover that the bridges along that road also had been swept away. So they kept on going. By the time they had traveled a couple of miles along the abandoned road, the silencer of the car broke off. They picked it up, put it in the boat, and continued the journey. It was time to go to Tuku, and there was no turning back. Whenever they encountered on the road a stream or water or flood, he said, it is to go and to achieve the purpose. To go and achieve the purpose. No matter the challenges, no matter the circumstances, make up your mind, do whatever you are supposed to do, don't delay, don't postpone. There might be challenges along the way. Just don't change your mind. Propose to fulfill destiny. Be diligent. Proverbs 22, 29 says, Be diligent in whatever you are doing. You will stand before kings. Lazy people don't stand before kings. Seek to know the will of God for your life. In her, they spent three days on that road. But they arrived safely and did what they needed to be done. Today, in Benue State alone, in Nigeria, they have over 500 parishes of the Redeemed Christian Church of God because somebody did not give up, despite the challenges. Understand your times and season, my beloved brother and sister. Seize the opportunity when they come. Surely you will see the reward. There are many things that will come your way. Don't change your mind. Don't delay. Don't postpone. Destiny killer is laziness. One of the destiny killers is laziness, slothfulness. You just give up easily. It's not working, then you give up. No, put more effort. Put more effort. Let God help you, strengthen you. And you will not fail in the name of Jesus Christ. So, despite the road was dangerous, had been swept away by flood, they did not say, let's go back. Don't forget, there was a little charge there. Many of us, before we, we got married, we were fervent, we do everything. Until when we get married, maybe there's a baby one or two, we begin to give excuses. Oh, I can't do VG again. I can't go to church during the week. I only go to church on Sunday because of my babies. But before you have your babies, you were fervent, you were zealous, you were serving the Lord. May the Lord give everyone understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. Our hymn today is, I am pressing on the upward way. I am pressing on the upward way. Keep pressing. You don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. Keep pressing. It might be the last day you want to give up that breakthrough will happen. Keep pressing. Keep pressing. Don't allow laziness. Don't allow social media. Don't allow being in comfort zone rob you of your destiny. I'm pressing on that upward way. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Our memory verse, once again, is in Judges chapter 18, verse 9. Judges chapter 18, verse 9. And they said, Arise, that we may go up against them, for we have seen the land, and behold, it is very good. Are you still? Be not slothful to go and to enter to possess the land. To enter to possess the land. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 9. Dealing with destiny killers. Our focus today is laziness, slothfulness. Don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. And the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 13. Proverbs chapter 22, Verse 13, before we pray, it says, The slothful man said, There is a lion without, I shall be slain in the streets. The slothful man will always complain, give excuse, 
and they won't do anything. Don't give excuses. Pursue your destiny. Put more effort. Be hardworking. Be diligent. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Our key point says, convenience is just an excuse. When something needs to be done, do it, whether it is convenient or not. For truly, for you to gather results, for you to be fervent, you need to forget about convenience. There's nothing that is convenient for someone that is pursuing destiny. Because the more you pursue, the more many things come your way. It's either to pull you back or to push you forward. So you need to adjust and keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. And as you gather your balance in the journey of life, it is easier the more you go. Just remain focused. Don't allow anything to distract you. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So, in as much that you have made up your mind to achieve something, don't change when there are circumstances that are not convenient. Don't change when there are issues around you. Don't change when there are obstructions, when there are hindrances. Make up your mind. Be strong. Try other means. Try other ways in righteousness and you will get there in Jesus' name. If you are not born again, you will lack strength because you will not be strengthened by God. Give your life to Jesus. Be inspired by God. Let the Holy Ghost quicken you. He said he has not given us spirit of fear, but he has given us spirit of love, of power, and of sound mind. Receive the spirit of power and sound mind. Then you'll be able to move against all odds and you'll be able to achieve the purpose of God for your life. Don't be lazy. Don't be slothful. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we please pray? Father, we bless your holy name. Lord Jesus, we return all the glory to you. Thank you for your faithfulness upon our lives. We return all the glory to you in Jesus' name. Lord, today, every spirit of laziness and slothfulness be destroyed in your church, in our teenagers, in our youths, in our men and women, in Jesus' name. Help us to find fulfillment as we pursue our glorious destiny in you, in Jesus' name. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. See you soon. Don't forget, laziness is a destiny killer. God bless you. Bye for now.